You know, with prior Republican nominees for president, I disagreed with them on politics, policies, principles, but I never questioned their fitness to serve. Donald Trump is different. I said starting back in June that he was not fit to be president and commander in chief. And many Republicans and independents have said the same thing. What we all saw and heard on Friday was Donald talking about women, what he thinks about women, what he does to women, and he has said that the video doesn't represent who he is, but I think it's clear to anyone who heard it that it represents exactly who he is. Katrina Pearson is the Trump campaign national spokesperson. Katrina, good to see you tonight. Great to be here. Thank you. So what of that? Because she's trying to expand it beyond the tape. She's saying, yes, the women is a big issue for him. But where was his apology for the Khan family? Where was his apology uh, for the Judge Curiel and all the others you heard her list? Well, Megan, I'll remind everyone that Mr. Trump did give a statement early on saying that he had said some things that he regretted. But it was um, generic. There was it, no apology. It was very to those generic people. because there, there was a, there was a, a number of things that he has done in fighting because he has been fighting. He's been fighting against both sides of the establishment. He's been fighting against the media, and he says, and when you have those contentious debates, you do say things you regret, and he did. But it wasn't a debate when he attacked Judge Curiel and just said he can't decide my case because he's of Hispanic heritage. Well, and that was mainly because of his position on the border, and we leave out the context of what he was talking about specifically. He was saying policy. because he had Hispanic parents, mm -hmm. and Trump wants to build a wall, he couldn't get a fair hearing before this judge. Right, because also because of the affiliations that this judge had with organizations who are against Mr. Trump. That's not what Trump says. That's what but, you but, said. No, you but made a better argument than he did. But that's why he, he made the statement. No, that isn't. He was asked repeatedly and he said he's a Mexican, which he wasn't. He's from Indiana. My point, I don't want to relitigate it right. all of it, but her point is it's not just women. He said so many controversial things and on the women front, let me ask you, because you come on the show all the time. You, you obviously love Trump, and you're a, a great defender of his. But when you, heard, when you saw that tape, what was your reaction? Look, I have two brothers. I was in sports, so I was around a lot of athletes. Uh, this truly was two men who had what they thought was a private conversation talking about an attractive woman. Um, he calls it locker room banter. Do your and, brothers and talk about grabbing women by the genitals? I don't know what they talk about specifically because when I walk into the room, they stop those discussions. You know your brothers. You but believe I will that they say, talk about grabbing women by the genitals and laughing about it and doing whatever they want to them? But what I will say is I've also been around a lot of famous athletes and Hollywood celebrity types. Um, and that is the entertainment culture. This was just discussion. This was two guys having a discussion. Nothing actually took place. They were words, and they were 11 years ago. The bigger point but here... He was 59 years old then. It, it's not like he was 20. Well, no, absolutely. But he's still two men having a discussion, a private discussion. Megan, we can have private discussions. Women have private discussions, even at my age of 40. I've never had a discussion like not that like, in my maybe life. Maybe not like that, but we do have discussions in private that we would embarrass us in public. We, we do yes. these kinds of things when we think we are alone, and that's exactly what this was. Do you think that he can recover with, with women, you know, based on what we saw? Tonight he said, I respect women, and the audience erupted in laughter. No, I absolutely do think he can, because there are a lot of women who've already supported Mr. Trump. We look in the primary, see one with women overwhelmingly. But those we are Republicans. See, and we do see a lot of women supporting him now. There are several former Democrat women who are now working on the campaign in support of Mr. Trump, because a lot of these women, they're not wanting to elect a father figure or even a role model. They knew Mr. Trump was not an altar boy, because that's what this country needs. They need someone that's going to fight for them, someone that can break up the monopoly, stop the global corruption, and stop the reign of career politicians. Have you ever heard him use terms like that? Has he, have you ever heard him refer to a woman by a derogatory he does, term? He does not talk like that uh, to people. This was a private discussion between two men. How about Mike Pence? Is there any chance Mike Pence is not staying on as the vice presidential nominee? Oh, not at there all. There are rumors to that effect. No, there are always rumors. Look, right. this is it's a not Trump true. campaign. It's not, not true. true at all. 100%. They're united. They are united. And as for those front. Republicans who are abandoning Trump and who have been highly critical of him, including Reince Priebus, who hasn't abandoned but has been highly critical, what say you? Well, I say there are a lot of Republicans who are really just looking out for themselves. You know, I think a lot of them felt like they wanted to have some say. That some of them are running their own races. But what I will say is this is the problem that we have had, and those Republicans really need to think about why the Republican primary voters, voters supported Trump. Democrats rallied behind President Clinton as he was engaging in very explicit activities in the Oval Office. These are words Mr. Trump used. There's a reason why voters support Mr. Trump. Great to see you. Great to be here.